Two American patients stricken with Ebola are to be flown from Amer Africa to the U.S. They will be transferred back to the United States and treated in a special high-security ward at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta. The pair were identified as Dr. Kent Brantley of Samaritan's Purse and Nancy Wrightball, a missionary with the aid group SIM. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest said that while the U.S. government would facilitate any transfer to the U.S., private companies would be used to transport them. The State Department and the CDC uh, are working to facilitate options for potential medevacs for U.S. patients, specifically American citizen humanitarian workers. Uh, there have been reports that humanitarian aid workers from the United States uh, in West Africa uh, have contracted the Ebola virus. Uh, I'm not in a position to talk about individual cases, but uh, these kinds of medevacs would be consistent with, um, well, let me point out one other thing. Uh, these kinds of medevacs that are performed by private entities, by private organizations, yet facilitated by the U.S. government and government agencies, uh, is consistent with what has been done in similar situations in the past. Initially,